Let me ask you a very simple question, and then I'm going to answer a question you have. The question I want to know is very simply this. Is it possible for today's sock puppet media, this shadow government cryptocracy media, these jadrules who are ordered to produce and to promote the official statement and the official history of what's going on, is it possible for them to handle any kind of inclement or dangerous weather and act like adults? Is that possible? Is that, is that possible? And the second question, I know what you're asking. What the hell's with the sunglasses? Well, if you have to know, I just picked up a pretty nasty heroin habit and decided this is the best way to confuse and to, to, uh, to hide and camouflage my, my deadly addiction. And of course, I'm making that up. I had my eyes dilated today, and I don't know what this guy was using, but I can't read anything, and the lights, even from my, my monitors here, my, 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 my lighting, is driving me crazy. So enough with that. Now let's get down to the real question. What happened to this thing called adulthood when it comes to reportage? I'm going to answer that question and more. But first, a word from our sponsor. A new study reveals nearly 50% of adults rated vision loss as the worst possible health outcome. Those questioned voted that losing vision would be worse than losing a limb, their hearing, speech, or memory. More adults would rather lose their memory than their eyesight. The things you need for healthy vision cannot be produced by your body. You must be supplementing them into your diet. Otherwise, your eyesight suffers. You need eye vitamins. The eye vitamins you want to maintain and support healthy vision are in this amazing new pill. This product helps protect the eyes against the dangerous blue light emitted from phone and computer screens while simultaneously supporting visual contrast, eye processing speed, glare recovery, cognitive function, and more. I'm teaming up with the creators behind these vitamins so you can get your vision strengthened and receive up to 51% off your own order by clicking the link below or simply going to visionwithlionel.com. Order today to get yours delivered to your doorstep today. Okay, I think it comes as no surprise to you that I despise the media. Despise this iteration of idiocy that we call the media. I don't know who these fools are, and I've been around it for a long, long time, and I never fit in, and they never liked me, because anytime I could mock what they were doing, I would do it. And when it comes to really stupid, I mean, I'm not saying something, because these, I mean, when it came to, to, to comes to, to stupid, oh my God, they wrote the book. These people recognize stupid on levels and in colors heretofore thought unimaginable, impossible to replicate. But when it comes to weather, in particular, we lose our minds. First, it's an age thing. It really is. When you get older, you'll notice that you repeat a lot of the expressions your father said that you swore you'd never be caught dead saying in your lifetime. And it's true. Get ready. Every day you'll say something your parents said. You go, my God, what, what am I talking about? I'm sounding just like them. That's true. Now, the other thing you got to remember is very simply this, and this is critical to note. Since man first trod upon the earth and we climbed out of the you know the the slime the organic ooze that makes up this pool of sludge that we come from with all due respect to Adam and Eve weather has been critical it's the first thing we ever came to know it's the first thing in my book weather inspired god because the first time somebody heard thunder and saw lightning, they say, you know, I think there's some big guy up there making this noise. Maybe royally PO'd in something we're doing. Because that's an inherent human thing. Where we always blame ourselves. It's never a celebration, some celestial celebration of what we're doing. Like, oh, this is wonderful. He loves us. No, you know, this, this celestial 
attaboy. No, it's always the gods hate us and we've done something to incur the wrath of it. Being admittedly polytheistic in this analogy. But nonetheless, that's, that's where it came from. Throw in volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, <laughs> typhoons, cyclones. Oh my God. And you better come up with a belief in God or something that we call God now. Because if you don't, that means we're on our own. And that means that it is something that we can't control. And there is nothing that human beings hate worse than not being in control. Oh, it's the worst. We hate being in control, or not in control, so much that we just make stuff up. Now, a while back, when TV came along, TV hit our stupid bone and f potentiated that which was stupid and low class with a perfervid ferocity, the likes of which we have never seen. I mean, we, we, we hit, I mean, stupid on all cylinders with TV. It just, I mean, it was. For every one small step, you know, I'm going to bring up the moon thing. I know where you're going with that, but from that moment to uh, Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall to all these moments of history and fun and Kukla Fran and Ali and Captain Kangaroo, there was the birth of complete and total idiocy, the weatherman. The weatherman is scooping the depths, the barrel, the, the lowest stratum of idiocy. It just, it just was the worst. The worst. Why is that? Well, let me explain. First, weather is nothing but pointing out the obvious. It's raining. It rained. Maybe if you're lucky, it'll rain tomorrow. Little satellite, little Doppler weather. Ooh, they love that technology. We got Doppler weather. No, 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 no. The Doppler effect. Still don't know how it works, but we just accepted it. Okay, Doppler weather. We've got, you know, the They've got the your man in the weather room. Now, they all basically look to the same information, either from the government or from universities. And the idea that they say, no, 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 I'm looking at the data myself. No, no, Dick Tremaine from Action 5 Weather. I'm going to read it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to interpret the weather. Nobody else. I'm, I'm, I'm turning to no one. I'm turning to no one to interpret what this is, save me. Do you understand that? Do you understand? Do you grasp this? Good. Very important. Now, that usual weather stuff, oh, and they tried other, you know, the, the, they tried other stuff too. The egg on the f f sidewalk and maybe the putting the, the, um, the yardstick in the, in the berm or the, the mound of snow or going to the Home Depot. That's kind of a news thing. First snow, why people are buying snow shovels. You, did you, you've never had a snow shovel? Did yours break? Why are you, did you just move here? All these people are new, transplants. Why is there this, it's the same reason why we got buy bread and milk during, um, uh, during, you know, inclement weather, snowstorms. I think worse than that, being inside some place with inclement weather, or rather, excuse me, somebody with some uh, lactose intolerance, and uh, well, I would make the noise, which normally accompanies that, but I'm not. Inside, uh, uh, feasting on, on white bread and milk. Why? Why was there a toilet paper run during COVID? What the hell did that happen? Nobody's even answered that one to me. So anyway, so hurricanes come, what do you have to do? You have to have the obligatory shot of the idiot, the Jadrul, hanging on for dear life to a post, to a stop sign, to something, as he warns you, as he threatens you with, with arrest, 
as he implores, beseeches, entreats, importunes you never to do the idiotic thing he's doing. And it goes on and on and on. Now we have drone for you. That's, that's kind of good. And it is interesting to note. But it is nothing but unnecessary, childish, really sickeningly um, um, grotesque, salacious at times, ghoulish, moribund, just this this dance of death as as they're hoping to up the numbers. And also, when the weather guy, who normally is some schlub, some, you know, yuckster who's doing nothing, it used to be the fat rolling boy, hey, oh, I'm the, oh, I'm the weather man. Oh, oh, oh. Well, now this is his time, and, he, and he's a scientist. Don't forget I'm a scientist, I'm a meteorologist, whatever that means. Some of them really aren't me. I guess they are. Anyway, who cares? And it's sad. And it's sad. And you always have some guy wearing a shirt sleeve. Well, it's Cat 4. Well, it's Cat 5. Here we up. It's going to, it's going to turn right now. It's going to Lee County. It's going to go to Collier County. And right now, here comes here comes kind of a landmass. And that's interesting. And that's okay. But they're stretching it. And they're saying, enough with the science. These people are illiterate. Go for the blood and guts. Stretch it. Not just the time, but stretch the ghoulishness. Show us the destruction. Give us a shot of somebody going home and everything's gone. Their, their prized possessions floating in some sewer admixed, bleh, some lake of destruction. Show us that. Give us the humanity, the, the lost dreams, destroyed memories. Do you understand? And that's precisely what this is. And this is, again, why I despise the media. And the good news is, in a few years, you're not going to see these people anymore because that has run its course. That vestige, that moment of news anachronisms is soon going to be wiped from our collective memory bank because its time has run. It's really, it's sad it's, it's absolutely clear what it is. And it goes to show you that there's no innovation. You would think with all of our ways of explaining, all of our graphic illustrations and everything, there still would be a better way than to send some schlub, some idiot, to the middle of nowhere, hanging on for dear life as something flies by. And you are, you don't want to admit it, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking, you know, if something tragic were to happen and it would be caused, uh, caught live, uh, and the news director's thinking the same thing. All right, my friend. Remember, just say no sometimes. And also, if you like this video, if you like what I'm saying, please note it, note it like it, subscribe to the channel, and also, I beg, I beseech, I ask you politely to comment as you see fit.